And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com, back with another member request tutorial. This time, I had a couple of members who were asking me how to map their uh, plugins to the Complete Control 1.5 software. So this tutorial is not going to run really too long. Actually, it's going to be actually rather fast because it's rather very, very easy. Now, when it comes to the mappings, Native Instruments has extended the native map so that a lot of third-party developers can create custom pages as well as they open up the doors to you as well, uh, producers who are at home. And I'll show you how you actually can get that set up. So for example, here is the Beast Mode Virtual uh, Drum Machine. You guys can pick this up on www.vipsoundlab.com. But let's say, for example, you have your chord and scale uh, icon here where you actually can turn the, the scales on and off by using this little icon here, as well as your ARP. So if you want to get some really interesting uh, note repeat patterns with the Beast Mode Virtual, you can do that, uh, adjusting the gate and things of that nature. So let's say, for example, if I have to tap on this key right here, Okay, and let's say I wanted that to do maybe like a note repeat. I can use the note repeat button here. I can use uh, ARP, for example. You know, you can set your rates here, your sequences here. You know, if you want to, you know, adjust the swings or the octaves, for example. And you also can adjust the gate here. Now, it's doing that because, for one, I adjusted the swing as well as the sequence. And I also adjusted the gate on that. As you see, we get a different setting because as I'm adjusting the gate here, we get a different type of repeat. So with the Beast Mode Virtual plugin, you know, you adjust the gate on this particular plugin. And all that's based on the Beast Per Minutes up here. Now with other plugins, they work a little bit different. With other plugins, you might not uh, have to adjust the gate here. But again, I'm just showing you on this plugin here. Or another example, if I was used to scale, you know, you can create interesting kits inside the Beast Mode plugin because you can uh, change all your pads on the fly. So let's say, for example, let me uh, close this window so you can see that I have it set for uh, the root note C scale chord set. OK, not harmonize. I'm using chord set major one. So when I tap on the uh, the pads here, yeah, you can see I'm getting three different uh, pads at the same time while I'm holding the key. When I let go of the key, uh, the pads don't light up anymore. If I go to this key here, okay, we're getting, a, again, a different type of scale. Again, chord set major one. You know, when you change this, you get different type of chord sets. So if you want to play a different pattern, now, of course, this is a drum machine, but I can give you other examples, let's say, with some instruments. We could do that next, but I'm just showing you how flexible you know, and creative you can become by using the complete control software. This is thinking outside of the box, using it with the drum machine. So again, you can get some very interesting layers with your pads. Now again, with the Beast Mode Virtual Drum Machine was dope. You can come in here and change your sounds on the fly. You know, just by going in here, you know, selecting different, you know, sounds. So by doing that, you know, you can imagine how you can get different drum layers. You know, if you want to stack and layer your pads by using the complete control software, thinking outside the box, you can do some very creative and interesting things with it. So for the second part of the question, they wanted to know how to, let's say, map pads. OK, here's a drum pad, which is a kick. Now, on the Beast Mode Virtual uh, Drum Machine, uh, you can have total control over each individual pad. So you'd have to create a lot of pages for individual control for all these knobs. Now, again, you can fine tune it to however that you want to do it. So you have a, a knob icon here. As you can see, I'm on page 17, and the first knob is here. Now, you see when I move this knob up there, it's mapping. Okay, now if I use my hardware controller, as you can see, I'm doing that right there all from the hardware, which again, you could do from the complete control uh, S series. You know, if you want to do it from your native instruments machine or whatever the case, you have complete and total control as I'm doing here. You know, if I want to grab all the knobs.
you know, as I'm doing right there. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can get in there and you can fine tune your sounds however you want to, you know, have them pitched, adjust the sample start endpoints, you know, adjust your feedback, your volume for your pads and things of that nature. So we have that pre map. That's an update that we're going to send out to Beast Mode virtual users. We also did the Illmatic drum machine. We sent the update uh, for the NKS uh, pre tags as well as the presets that we set for the complete control 1.5. The Illmatic drum machine users, they got that uh, yesterday. All right. So let's say, for example, I went to page 19, for example, and I'm going to grab a different pad here to do some different mappings. You press the lock icon here. You press this little uh, this little knob map icon here. And what you do is you begin moving your knobs, as I do here. And it, it, you know, it just goes along, kind of like uh, macro controls inside of uh native instruments machine that's what it uh, reminds me of and you can see it's very easy you just just basically going down the line and you're setting up your things how you want everything set up and then you know once you're done you press the lock icon back and then there you go you have your mapping so now when i'm up here you can see i'm adjusting things down there you know and on your midi controller you know you can right click you can midi learn you know if you have specific knobs or sliders on your MIDI controller. You know, once you have everything set up under the hood, you know, you just close this icon and then there you go. You have your little plugin ready to go, ready to do whatever it is that you wanted to do. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's completely up to you. Um, it's it's just it's just preference really. Depends on, you know, how you want to get things mapped and done. You know, that's completely up to you. So another cool thing about the Beast Mode Virtual Plugin, you have a browse icon here where you can actually go inside your, your hard drive you can import any type of uh, wave file that you want here. So if you have drum kits, let's say from whatever vendor or whatever company, you can use it inside the Beast Mode Virtual Drum Machine, which is a very uh, nice feature to have inside of a uh, drum plugin where you're not just locked into uh, specific genera sounds. You can actually do that. Uh, I was getting some questions with the Illmatic Drum Machine. They were asking me, can you import uh, sounds into that? And as a matter of fact, you can. And if you want to know how to get sounds inside of that, just email me because it's a little process that you have to do to get the sounds in there. But I can show you how to uh, do that as well. All right. So that's pretty much for this instrument. And what we'll do is we'll jump into another instrument and we will continue on. All right. And continuing on with the Illmatic drum machine, let's go ahead and take a look at doing some of the mappings. Now, as you can see right here on the Beast Mode Virtual, I'm sorry, the Illmatic drum machine. You notice how I have full and total control over the velocity. Now, for me, the importance for that is that it's doing it in a manner where I didn't have to set it up with my uh, Illmatic drum machine. Because in this in this plugin, there's a certain method that you have to set it up using the the sample volume along with the velocity to get your uh, or rather to engage the velocity scaling. So with complete control, it extends over to third party plugins. Basically, you're getting the benefits of complete control uh, with your virtual instrument. So I noticed that right off the bat, and that's a big uh, workflow enhancer. Because you know, for example, again. One of the cool things with the Illmatic drum machine, just like the uh, Beast Mode Virtual, you can come in here and, you know, assign, you know, different attributes uh, to pads. So if you want to stack and stack and layer pads, you can go to the chord, uh, you know, the, the scale uh, icon here, you know, and set up chords, for example, like chord set, you know, like majors and all of that. So when you do tap on the pads, when you're, you know, as you see it's doing right there. You see what I'm saying? You're thinking outside of the box. In other words, you're using, well, for me anyway, I'm using 
the complete control 1.5 in a different manner i'm using it with a drum machine to get some very interesting layers you know when you want to you know stack and layer pads so again you know just you know thinking outside the box using a drum machine with it again i'm going to give some uh examples with instruments as well but i'm just showing you that you know how virtual and flexible it is when you really get creative with this stuff guys so um you know you can get in here you know in in you know tune a pad you know however you want to set a pad up you know you want to go in here if there's, if there's a certain sound you know and you want to you know change the sample you know by you know coming in here and using the sample selector you can get you know some interesting layer stacking and layer your drums and again you also get the same uh benefits as i showed before for example using the uh the note repeat so let's say i'm gonna choose this pad right here for example not use a hi-hat maybe like a hi-hat pattern here you know then let's say we want to engage the arp You know, th again, this is based on the beats per minute. So the more beats per minutes I put. Now, when it comes to the GUI, the light flashing here, it doesn't take a toll on your CPU, on your CPU. It doesn't put a load. I don't want you guys to think, well, why isn't the FPS rate not, you know, again, from the screen capture, of the program, but also that's a limitation in contact where, you know, when it comes to frames per second in a GUI, you know, it might not show up, but that doesn't affect the performance of the actual. See that? I think Lex Luger makes those 64 triplets a lot. So the performance is there. You know, if you want to adjust the dynamic. Again, everything with this works perfectly. So as you can see here. Just a swing on that. You know, you can get some interesting. You know, if you want to do all this in real time. You know, if you just want to go crazy. You know, just do some really wild things, you know, get some really interesting, you know, patterns and swing patterns and things of that nature. So that is an awesome workflow. So to answer your question uh, with this guy here, we're going to go to the uh, again under the little mapping uh, icon here. Now, again, with the Beast Mode Virtual, all these are already done. As you can see here, the sample start and the hold and the decay. But it works the same as I showed in the last example. You know, if you if you go to a blank page, for example, let's say page uh, 10 or 16 or whatever, and you hit this little icon here, you know, once you're on your last page, you're going to have a, a plus icon here. OK, so if you add a page like this here and again, you go to the little mapping icon here, you can get in there and start mapping, um, you know, your parameters and stuff like that. Group, for example, if I want to do my EXT, if I want to do the effects button here. You know, to get up under the effects, which also reminds me when you when you are on the Beast Mode Virtual Drum Machine, why do I keep saying Beast Mode Virtual? On the Illmatic Drum Machine, a lot of the sounds are already um, pre-mastered. They're very powerful, so a lot of times you can turn the EQ, the comp, and the transient master and the tape off. Otherwise, you might overcompress your sounds because again, some of the sounds are really powerful. But we put these racks here in case you're inside a mix, you know, and you really want to mix these sounds down. We have these here to you know just make life easier in your mix. If this effects page is something you don't have to use, but again, it will make the sounds a lot more powerful, as you can see right there. So let's say uh, uh, we have the effects page there. We can do, you know, another master volume here, or I don't know. We'll put maybe like the humanize here. Well, the humanize that more or less is like uh, gives it a more human feel. So like when you're when you're playing on your pads, it it makes it sounds less uh, robotic. You know, if you want to have that more authentic human uh, drummer feel. So that's something that really would not. I believe we left this one um, so that it doesn't uh, automate because what would be the purpose of having something to have a more human feel if you can make it robotic? So if, if my memory serves me correctly from a developer standpoint, we left that one blank. So then you just hit this icon again. You lock your page. And then there you go. By turning this knob here, 
as you see right now we can get into the choke groups and let's say if I want this pad to choke off a certain pad I put it in choke group one you know choke group one choke group one and if you're wondering why when I'm tapping on these pads it's not sounding off it's because we have an icon up under this power switch where it enables that so you don't have to be bugged and going crazy while tapping on pads and hear that annoying sound you could turn that sound off you know and see it will only trigger when you tap on your pads so that's a, a great benefit so for example these are now in the same choke group so this sounds killing that sound off let me as you can see right there I'm using this symbol for example because it's longer do you see how long that is then I hit this pad here it's killing it off same with that one See what I mean? Because they're all in the same choke group. But you guys are pretty much familiar with that. But I just wanted to, you know, make that clear, make you be aware of that, of some of the, the workflows that are inside of this. Now, again, you have an EXT out here where on each pad you can have, you can set up to um, 16 outputs depending on how you have it set up in contact. So you have your external outputs around your audio outs, again, which is a major uh, workflow when you want to be mixing down your sounds and DAWs. So that's all that is. And again, we sent this update out. Uh, yesterday's with everything already mapped out so you hit this icon here and then you're back you know to the plugin you also have extended views you know if you want to you know have the browser view you have shortcuts you can use your keyboard such as B P and I performance you know your plugin panel you know all that good stuff I mean you have different views on this I mean you just hit the view button here you know if you want to take a look at your browser over here I mean, what more can I say? You know, you can get in here, you know, if you want to, you know, edit your sounds, you know, tag and filter them a different way. You can come in here, you know, edit your tags and, you know, things of that nature, add your little properties. You know, if you want to add your modes and all that good stuff, you know, all that's, you know, there. So, um, yeah, you know, I hope I'm not leaving anything out. I hope I'm, make, I'm making that really uh, clear and precise and easy for you to understand. If not, feel free to email me up and we will move on to the next example. All right, so we're back with another example, this time with the Bugatti strings. Again, you guys can pick this up at www.vipsoundlab.com. So, for example, I'm up under the, the chords and scale uh, icon here, scale, and I'm using a chord set major one. So what happens is now I can use the benefit of complete control with this expansion. So if I was to go to my MIDI controller... You see what I mean? So that's one of the cool things about complete control by extending that native map. Now allow your third party instruments can, you know, use some of the benefits that complete control has such as the easy chord scales and you know things of that nature so um with the bugatti strings we are currently uh updating the nks uh preset mappings for that uh just be patient with that we did get the beast mode virtual one out the way we sent the illmatic one out yesterday uh we're also going to be working on the addictive synthesis one as well so uh just be patient with us on that guys we just want to make sure that we do it right for you guys and give you guys some really awesome uh presets because currently what would happen is um, if you did try to currently map it. Uh, let me go up on this icon here to give you an example. You always have what's called your your learn MIDI CC automation and contact. So if I click this and say move a slider, it will map as it's doing there. OK, for that little poor mental knob down there. So, I mean, it will work, but to get the integration in the hardware and the software it works a little bit different okay so for example when i hit this lock icon here and again if you remember from the last tutorial you, you use this little you know mapping icon here and you grab a blank page so what happens is when this little icon is sitting here waiting for the mapping and you turn the mapping like this 
and it doesn't do anything. That's because we haven't set it up in here yet. And for you to get an understanding of that, you would have to watch uh, our NKS integration video where I have a video where I have the Illmatic uh, drum machine out. You know, take a look at our new machine 2.4 um, tutorial that we just uploaded and look for the one that's called the NKS integration. Um, I show you how to set that up because what you got to do is you got to go inside contact being that this was like, a, you know, a contact instrument uh, and you can get the mapping set up. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, let me pause the video. I'll do it in this video. Let me let me go ahead and show you right now. Hold on one sec. All right. So I'm back and I loaded up the uh, the contact instruments with the Bugatti uh, strings. So let's make sure that we got the sounds working on here. All right. So we got the sounds on there working. All right. So. What happens is to get the mappings correctly mapped for it to show up inside complete control. There's a few things that you got to do first. So the first thing you got to do, I'm going to go over under view. Okay. I'm going to go to the contact uh, browser here and you notice that you have an auto, uh, for the automation, uh, lane here, you can go on your information icon click on that. You can read right there where it says, uh, this allows you to view and edit the MIDI and host automation assignments of the instrument currently being edited. You simply drag and drop a controller from this list onto the instrument parameter you want to control. So therefore, when I click on this, you see that we have the blank uh, MIDI CC mappings. So from a developer standpoint, that is a godsend that they even have that in there for us. So Native Instruments has that door unlocked. So take advantage of that. So what you do is you take this uh, assignment and you, you know, sign it there. There's your portamento. You see that it comes up as the mode. Okay. VIP sound lab presents the Bugatti strings. Okay. So now we go to the next one, such as time, you know, anything that will map, it will highlight. So from this point is preference. However you want to have your instrument set up is up to you. What we will do is we will give you uh, an opportunity to have everything set up, you know, such as your tune, you know, your left and right, as far as your pans, you know, the volume, you know, all that good stuff. Okay. So from that point, you have everything mapped out. As you can see right there, your mode time voices to tune spread, all that good stuff shows up. So now when I close the browser, you know, not just the view, what happens now is when I come in here and save this instrument as I'm doing here, and this is the folder that it was in, I can label it, uh, just for organizational reasons to keep it neat. I'll label it NKS preset like that there and just save it in there. So now when I go back inside machine and I tag and filter this library, okay, that'd be the first step. Then from that point, I'll add it to native instruments, user content library and uh, make sure that it's in there nice and neat. You know, if I need to make any copies, do that. Then I'll bring it inside complete control uh, 1.5. What I'll do is I'll retag it and I'll refilter it. Uh, because one thing about complete control, when you're in 64 bit mode, you still can load all your 32 bit plugins, you know, and, and all that good stuff. So, you know, it's good to have everything nice and neat and tagged and filtered in there to make life uh, really easy. So with that being said, we will be updating the Bugatti strings as well as the addictive synthesis soon. So once that's done, now when I go back to complete, uh, or rather once that's done, now when I go back to complete control, <laughs> it will be mapped out. So just for the sake of the video, guys, you know, I don't want to make the video too long. Just remember in the first part of the video, what we did with the beast mode virtual and the second part of the video, what we did with the complete, I'm rather with the Illmatic uh, drum machine, those knobs, they would now simply appear and you can map them out. Now, this is something that you can do at home. I mean, if you don't want to wait for the update to come out, you know, just follow the steps that I did in this video and you can, you know, start doing that right now as soon as you turn this video off and you know, you can, you can do it for yourself. I mean, it's, you know, really no big deal. We just do it for the ease and the convenience of our customers. You know, when it comes to our customers, we like to make sure that we accommodate you guys with anything that you need to make your life as, uh, or rather your, makes your life a lot easier as a producer. Cause we know you guys just want to concentrate on, on focusing your music, you know, and put all that drama and nonsense to the side, man. So, all right. So with that being said, it's your boy Fontaine, VIP Be sure to come by www.vipsoundlab.com. 
We have a VIP membership as low as $9.99 with no monthly fees. We have uh, control editor templates, free session files. We give away free monthly drum kits, uh, updates, and things of that nature on the site. So I so you know so I hope to uh, see you guys on the site. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or concerns, just hit me up, and I will see you guys on the next one.